All right, we're going to do another one. So I'm going to have you hit the big wrench at the top. Edit dashboard, please. Go to the bottom. Let's grab this border. Put it right underneath if you haven't done so already. Go grab that big H, which is a header. Put it right there to where it highlights a darker gray. And here, we're going to call this one horizontal bar. Beautiful. Hit save. Okie dokie. Now, I could hit the plus sign. I could do this all over again, create a new car. I could do all the stuff, but I could also just skip some steps. I could just hit the little wrench and say, save as, and call this one set of vertical bar horizontal bar like that and say, save. Okie dokie. Now I'm going to hit the chemistry beaker at the top, right? And here. I'm going to, instead of popular charts, I'm going to just pick horizontal bar. I'm going to pick that stacked horizontal bar and look what happens. It shoots it out. Now I'm going to give you a best practice. If we do anything with the dates, cognitively, our minds make it a little bit harder for us to read dates going up and down, like on the Y axis, like this dates are best read when they are on the Y, they're the X axis. So on a vertical bar, I fit the stacked one. Dates work this way better because we are used to seeing dates move left to right time linearly left to right instead of up to down. So why would we use a horizontal bar? What would be the point? Well, let's go to horizontal bar. I'm going to have you go to this one right here, this stacked horizontal bar. And instead of date, I'm going to have you move date from here and date from here in sorting. I'm going to have you put portfolio company right in the Y axis and sorting um, ascending is fine with me. Well, if you want to see like a race, well, who's winning? This is why you would use a horizontal bar instead. It's a little bit easier to read. Okay. Now you see why I have the hundred it's because in data label settings, I have this percent of category, but there's only one value in this line. So we don't need it. So I'm just going to rid of it. We don't need it right now. But what I could do is I could do percent of total. Now what I'm able to see is okay. Company a has $2.5 million that it's made in the last 12 months. And that's 21% of everything. Company B is three, sorry, 2.5 and company B is 3.4. And that's 30% of everything. I could do it that way. That's one way to do it. There are a bunch of other ones in here as well, like this 100% stack bar. What this means is this means, hey, go make the percentages out of 100% for everything. So let me, let me show you what this looks like. You don't have to do this one. I'm going to go back to color. I'm going to remove my color rules, remove it. And I am going to put a new thing in series. Let's go put in, uh, oh, this is fun. Yeah. Let's go get country. I'm putting in the filter. I'm going to put in country into series. And I'm going to pick on just a couple countries. So what is this China? This one's Indonesia, Russia. Let's do that. So I'm going to go to country here. I'm going to pick on those four that I said, we're going to go to China, Indonesia. Uh, let's pick the U S and let's pick one more. Let's go pick, mm, let's go pick, let's go pick Mexico. Or we'll pick Japan Domo. That makes sense. Okay. There we go. This is what the 100% stack bar does. Everything is out of 100%. So this is saying, hey, for this one right here of 100%, this is how much is coming from China. This is how much is coming from Indonesia. You're wondering where the four? It's because we're doing a percentage of the total. So I just have to remove that. Get rid of you. And now we hover over. Now I can see the different values. So I could do, do this again and do percent of category. Now I can see, hey, for company A, 83% of the revenue is coming from China, 16% is coming from Indonesia, et cetera. That's one way to do it. We could also do this with a grouped bar like this, where now I can see, hey, within company A, now show me the breakdown among China, Indonesia, Japan, US, whatever, okay? All right, just showing you options of how to use this horizontal bar. I'm gonna go back though to my stacked version here. I'm fine keeping it this way where I have portfolio company, I have revenue, I have country, and I'm just going to say save and close. Go back to cards practice and hit the big wrench, edit, move it right underneath horizontal bar. 
and hit save. Looks beautiful.